Well, you might have seen my video of us having this uh, field baled last week. Um, and they came along and wrapped them just after they were baled. So uh, anyway, I'm co I've come out here now with my, <clears throat> with my loader and trailer. And I'm just going to load up a few of these bales today. I'm on my own. Um, I'm just loading them. Uh, the interesting thing is the grass has started to grow really quickly. We've had quite a lot of rain and already there's quite a good bite of grass on there for the cows. So give it another uh, few weeks, there'll be loads of grass here. And that's why I want to get these bales gone because they'll start leaving marks. We'll just have a quick look at the bales. They're well wrapped, double skin of plastic. And uh, you can see the birds sat on there. And the birds do like walking on them. You've got to be a bit careful because sometimes the crows can peck holes into them. But uh, they should be, uh, be sealed and last well until the next uh, year. As long as they're not punctured, they, they don't deteriorate. So I'm going to use my loader and um, load up a load of bales to take back to the farm. So I've been filming a little bit of the outside while I've been loading. Um, so what I'm going to do is just going to film a little bit of the inside of the tractor while I'm doing it. Again, not easy sometimes when you've got um, trying to hold a camera and uh, steer and do all multiple jobs. There we go. Anyway, so what I'm doing, I'm lining up with the bale. Here we go. And I'm using the joystick here push down, got to get my prongs level and then you can't see I'm pressing a button to squeeze, oh I haven't done that one quite right, let's get that right, so I'm putting that down there, 
slow forward a little bit. And now, squeezing it tight. Okay, there we go. Now lift it up. Got a bit of a dirty windscreen, I'll give it a bit of a clean. I can see a little bit better. Okay, so there's the trailer. So I've got to line this up right. Again, it's all about lining things up properly really. You've got to be careful you don't skag the bales. Um, quite easy to make a mark on the bales or make a hole and then you've got to take the hole up. So I'm just using a the loader there to get it, there you go, using my arm there to get it level. There you go, now I'm going to go forwards, just lining it up onto the trailer. Okay, that's about right. There we go, right, release the bale. There we go, that will open up the um, pinches and the first back. There we go, one more bale in place. So let's go and get another one. So we can see a bale over there. Taking it pretty steady today. I'm not actually going to stack the trailer up very high. It's not a big trailer. In fact, we could do with a new trailer. Okay, so I'm just lining up the bale. Now this is where I've just got to get this right. There we go. Squeeze it. So I'm clamping it now. Lift it up. Right, up we go. First back. There we go. It takes quite a lot of practice to get this just right. It's very easy when you first start doing this sort of job to make a real cock up actually, to make holes in the bales, not line them up properly, and then fall off the trailer. Saying that, even after years of experience, I still make mistakes on it. Right, so I want a bale to get level, so what I'm doing here is I'm just moving it to the right, lifting it up a bit. So then I'm moving on in. There we go, right, I'm going to let it down now, I'm just levelling it off. Okay, now release the bale. There we go. And that's that. So I'm not actually going to put any more bales on top of there because the reason for it is, it's actually quite difficult when I'm picking up bales um, on top of other ones to not damage the others. So I'm only going to take six back on that trailer and uh, one on the front, so there's only seven, but there's not that many bales out here, so there's not that many loads, and I haven't got far to go. So I'll just pick this one up, and then we're done. In fact, I'll film the outside of the loader going down on it so you can get a better look. <laughs> 